The most shocking fact about hyperthyroidism is that a severely overactive thyroid can trigger a rare but life-threatening event called the thyroid storm, where the body's entire metabolism accelerates to a catastrophic, unsustainable and often fatal speed. So a thyroid storm is not just a bad hyperthyroidism, it's a sudden extreme decompensation. It's like taking the engine of a car that's already redlining an injection of full rocket fuel. The patient's body is literally burning itself out. The classic presentation is a triad of hyperthermia, tachyarrhythmias, and central nervous system. So when we talk about hyper hyper Thermia, we have to understand it's a very high fever, up to 40, 41 Celsius, or 100, 106 Fahrenheit. That is out of proportion of any underlying infection, of course. The body's metabolic furnace is running so hot, it's essentially cooking itself. When we talk about tachyarrhythmias, i.e. a dangerously fast and often irregular heart rate, for example, atrial fibrillation with a ventricular rate of 160, even 200 beats per minute, which can quickly lead to high output heart failure, and central nervous system dysfunction, we've got extreme agitation, delirium, psychosis, and eventually coma. So it's a true multi-system meltdown. A thyroid storm is a clinical diagnosis, not a lab value. It has a very high mortality rate, even with modern ICU care. It's an internal storm. It's a perfect storm of metabolic chaos driven entirely by an internal hormon, hormonal excess. It can be triggered actually by a small insult. A patient with pre-existing, poorly controlled hyperthyroidism can be tripped into a full-blown storm by a relatively minor event, like, you know, infection, a surgery, or even a dose of iodine containing contrast for CT computer tomography scan. And the treatment as multi-pronged attack. The treatment is a fascinating and urgent pharmacological assault. You have to block the thyroid, uh, my beloveds, at every level simultaneously. So block new hormone synthesis no, with like, like uh, methimazole. Block the release of stored hormone with iodine solutions like Lugols. Block the peripheral effects of the hormone on the body with beta blockers block the conversion of t4 to more active t3 with steroids and ptu so it's a race my beloved against time to shut down the hormonal factory and protect the body from its effects get it good